If I traded it all, if I gave it Welcome back, everyone. I am so excited. I am really excited about bringing on my next guest. And we're all live on Facebook. And we're also, um, I want to say hi to everybody out there. So like us and follow us. I'm trying to get myself organized here as well. At the same time, I have with me a financial planner. I have Lane Martinson. And he's an author of his new book. It's The Holistic Retirement Planning Revolution. And it happens to be Amazon's Number one new release in the financial engineering. It's great. I want to ask you something. You have found to be, what have you found common concerns to those that are approaching retirement age? Well, everyone wants to make sure that they don't run out of money in retirement, right? I mean, that's the that's the big thing of, uh, you know, and we, we actually live longer nowadays than we used to live. And so longevity is really what we would consider a, um, a risk multiplier because you need your money to last you longer. There are more things that could potentially go wrong that could disrupt your financial plan. And so uh, making sure that you have enough money to last you throughout your entire retirement is, is really anyone who's getting ready to transition into retirement. That is certainly something on their mind. It's a scary thought. Yeah, right. <clears throat> now, if it's okay with you, I'd like to open up the lines to the audience because what we're going to do is we're going to let everybody get, we've got five people that are going to win a book, okay? Yep. And um, you can go to Amazon. You can go to Amazon.com. You can go to Barnes & Noble. Uh, it's also in Kindle, you said. Right. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's num Amazon's number one new release in the financial engineering area of, the, of Amazon. But you can call in here and get it from me. Our number Why did you call it the Holistic Retirement Planning Revolution? <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. I, I struggled with how do I title this book. My, my first choice was actually um, Achieving Gamma. <laughs> now, that sounds, no one really would know what that means. And, and, and it kind of suggests that it's maybe a real technical, difficult book, but it's, it's just the opposite. And so... Uh, but if I could, if I could had one word that would describe the the benefit or the message of the book, it is how to have more income in retirement, and um, the kind of the technical word for that is gamma. So, n not to get lost in financial terminology here, but there was a there was a study done um, by the academics of Vanguard. And this was done back in two thousand one. It's called Advisor Alpha Study. It's a very well known study. And they wanted to quantify, and they wanted to say, how much value does a financial advisor actually bring to, to someone versus someone you know, trying to, to do things on their own? And they, they were able to, to document that it's a, the advisor alpha, or the, the added value, is, is 3% over their lifetime of, as far as the rate of return. And so, of course, a lot of advisors were happy about that to kind of justify their existence and whatnot. Right. Uh, but... but it's a, it's a very well uh, documented and, and known study. But there's a more recent study that was done by the academics of Morningstar. And it's called the Alpha, Beta, and now Gamma study. And the purpose of the, the study was to, to quantify the value of holistic planning. Okay? So the, the Vanguard study, the Advisor Alpha study, um, was purely uh, dealing with an, an investment portfolio, right? So holistic planning is taking into account all of the different components that go into your financial life. And when you, um, with, with proper planning, you create um, efficiencies, what is the value, you know, what is the financial value? And the study came out that uh, you can achieve 22.6% more income in retirement with good holistic planning. And this book will help somebody understand how they through working with, let's say, someone like you, can create more wealth in their retirement, correct? Well, yes, it's, it's um, about, it's making, having, it's, it's making the most of what they have. Okay. So it's not, it's protecting against the risks, taxes, um, there's, there's many different things that we call inefficiencies. It's kind of, you know, you lose money unknowingly and unnecessarily, it's kind of, I have this bucket with holes leaking out, and when we can plug those holes, and make your, your money and your income plan more efficient, 
um, you actually end up having a lot more money to spend. Perfect. That's what I wanted you to explain. And uh, we've got our lines open here. Five people are going to win this book. Uh, our number here is 602. You could check it out on his website. You can also get more information there about the book. It's Martinson, M-A-R-T-I-N-S-E-N, wealth.com. Uh, you could get it at Amazon. And exactly right now, it is uh, Amazon's number one new release in the financial engineering area of their books. And uh, it can get it, you can get it in Kindle, you can get it in Barnes & Noble, but you can get it in by calling here free at, at 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. And I have to say something. The people that listen to the show, there are a lot of older people. We're all thinking about, like you said, what is it? Once you start uh, turning a certain age, all of a sudden, even me, and I don't even, I never would have in my life thought I would think about all of these things. And it comes to me, too, where we're thinking, okay, well, what am I going to do when I get, right? right. What's going to happen if? Um, and I want you to kind of also explain to them what holistic planning, like you said before, you said that it, I want you to reiterate what it really is. Right. So holistic planning, it's, it's, it's going beyond just the investment portfolio, right? There's many different components that are going to make up your financial life. Of course, there's Social Security timing and strategies. There's Social Security taxation, which can be prevented if, you, if you're positioned properly. There's the order of liquidation. You know, if you have a brokerage account or you have a 401k or maybe an IRA, the, the order in which you take income yeah, can make a very big difference on, on how uh, on the efficiencies. Yeah, um, your house, your mortgage, long-term care. Um, there's many all, all the things that would go into an income stream or things that could potentially threaten that income stream is what holistic planning is all about, and it really is revolutionary. Bec not only because of um, our world has changed and our in the in, in the environment that we're in has changed. But financial tools have changed a lot. And so there's been a lot of innovation and things that, that uh, a lot of folks just don't, aren't aware of. Well, I'll tell you something. He wrote the book to help you guys out there. So when someone reads this, okay, mm -hmm. what, how, how, I want you to talk to them. Why read it? What's it going to do for them? Well, it's going to empower them with, with knowledge. There and you it, go. And insights to, to know what, when they, you know, it's a big transition when you're approaching retirement. There's a lot of things to consider, and so this is going to give them a, kind of a non-biased, broad overview of, of everything that they should be considering. Right, and it's a holistic approach to retirement planning, and that's a new way of doing things, right? It's, it, yes, and it's a, kind of a new breed of advisors. It's a, it's a smaller percentage that are true holistic planners, but there's a, there's a lot of value and additional income that can be created through holistic planning. It's called the Holistic Retirement Planning Revolution Lane G. Martinson is spelled M-A-R-T-I-N-S-E-N. We've got our lines open here. Uh, we're going to go to a break, and when we come back, I really want to dive deep a little bit more when, into it. And I'm gonna, we all want to make sure that we have enough money to when we retire. And we're starting to think about it. All of us baby boomers out there are thinking about it right now. So keep on calling 602-277-5369. We've been talking a little bit about the book, right. the, and it's, you know, I love financial books because, you know, we're also on a financial station, so the people kind of get it. Um, you, before we were talking at the break, I want to talk to you about how you believe that traditional financial advice that is given today is outdated. What do you mean by that? Yeah, there's actually a, um, a lot of advice that's, that's still being given very routinely, that um, it really originated from the 80s and the 90s, and there are financial firms and, and advisors who they've been kind of given the same message um, for, for the last couple of decades. And so, you know, I can give you some examples. It's, been, it's long been thought, you know, the importance of contributing into tax-deferred retirement accounts. And so our 401Ks, our IRAs, tax-deferred, tax-deferred. Now, everyone likes a tax deduction, but... You know, now as we, when we do retirement planning, we, we're kind of got to look to the future and we want to anticipate, well, what could threaten our, our money here? And so if we have a whole bunch of um, money that is yet to be taxed, it's essentially, you know, infested with 
<laughs> with, ta with taxes. And so taxes today are historically low, and my feeling is that probably won't, it's probably the lowest we'll see taxes for a lot of reasons. In the future, we expect taxes to be higher. Our, our huge debt and deficit, um, the, the, you know, the interest rates that are low now that will, are likely to increase over time, it all adds to um, a lot of pressure on our already stressed financial system. And so there's going to be pressure for taxes to increase in the future. It's, it's likely. And so when you have money in a 401k, for example, um, and you, let's say you're looking at your statement and, and you see the dollar amount and you think that that's your nest egg, right? The reality is you, you don't know how much of that you're going to be able to spend because you don't know what the tax rates are going to be in the future. And so how much tax do you owe? Whatever the tax rates happen to be in the year that you take a distribution. And so it could easily be a lot less than people are thinking. And so with holistic planning, we really, one of the key things that we do is we, we strive to accomplish what we call a tax-free retirement. And the only way that can be done is through good planning, it's usually a multi-year strategy with Roth conversions and different things where we actually position the assets such that they're isolated from future taxes. What you, I like the way that you put it. It is making the most out of what you already have. Exactly. You know, what about somebody who is like me that doesn't have as much? Can we still work with you? Can we still read this book? Well, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, whatever you have, I mean, you're going to have probably Social Security, you may have your house with equity. All of those things are very important. You know, there's things that have, have really changed a lot. For, for example, uh, um, mortgages and reverse mortgages. Um, that's not something I do, but it's part of a holistic plan. They are actually good for p in, financial, in the financial world today, correct? Yes, yes. And, and a lot of people have maybe have a, made up their mind on certain things from the past and where they've actually evolved and things that were... For example, uh, reverse mortgage, what may have had some negative components to it in the past, they've actually changed and evolved, and they've actually become very powerful tools for people to access equity in their house. But it's got to be done, you know, it's not for everybody, and it really, every situation is unique, and that's where holistic planning comes in. You know, other things that are outdated, in my view, are uh, mutual funds. Most people's investments are in mutual funds. And the mutual fund, um, it, you know, originated in like the 19. 20s, right? And so it's really outdated technology is what I would say. And the reason is, is because of the, it has inherent tax inefficiencies. It has, it's opaque in nature. And so it's hard to know what's going on inside of a mutual fund. There, there's new things such as ETFs and exchange traded funds where they're completely transparent. You know exactly what the costs are and they're just more efficient. And so you, you know, there, there are new things. You still want to underestimate the power of, of innovation. In the 21st century, there's been all kinds of innovation, and, it, and it, people just aren't maybe as aware of what's going on in the financial world. Well, we want you to be aware, and that's what he's talking about. That's what he wants to do is get this book out to everybody. Okay. Why do you think that there's so much confusing and conflicting information out there? So the, the financial industry, you really kind of have to understand how it was made up. You've got two, two major schools of thought. You have those who come from what I call, in the book I, I classify any type of investment where you can lose money in a mark, some type of market risk is involved. I refer to that as um, red money or red money tools, financial tools and red money advisors. And then you have on the, what we call green tools, which have no market risk or, you know, they come with guarantees, financial products like annuities, um, life insurance and so forth. And you tend to have advisors who specialize in one or the other. And so there can be, you know, bias involved, there can be conflicts, you know, what, trying to emphasize the highlights of one and, and uh, de-emphasize the, you know, the other, the other side. What, what's kind of the new breed of financial advisor, or at least the holistic retirement planner type of advisor that you really should have is someone who is experienced and equipped with all the financial tools available. And so it's not about which, is, which one's right, it's what's right for you and what combination and so it's leveraging the strength of the different types. So it's, it's, it's really going to be the right combination for each, each person. Right. And so it starts with a story. I mean, everybody has one. And that's what you talk to them about, right? When, you talk, when they talk to you, it starts with a conversation, correct? Well, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's just getting to understand who they are, what their goals are, 
what their financial needs are, what assets do they have, and, and then, it's, you know, then the plan comes together. And he wants to tell everybody that you can read this book and start to learn a different approach. Yes. A much better approach in matter, it might be. And you won't know until you actually read the book, right? Right. Right. We have, um, we just had phenomenal feedback so far. Tell them what they said. On the book. Yay. Yeah. So it's a very, very non-biased book. It's, it, you know, it covers, you know, myself, I'm, I'm a fiduciary advisor, so, which is really the highest standard as far as um, having the client's best interest at stake. Um, but I actually have um, other advisors around the country who are, are buy, have been started to buy this in bulk because um, it communicates so well the, the differences between the two and, and how holistic planning really works. It's a great book. It's a great book because it not only helps, well, my gosh, gosh it helps a person out there, the layman person like me, understand a, and another approach. And I think that's a great way that you put this. I mean, there's a lot of people out there, a lot of financial advisors that are a little bit of stauncher, a little bit older, right? And they go, have their way. Yeah. There's another way, right? A holistic way. Right, yeah. The, if, if there's anything that's constant, it's change, right? There's been a lot of change in, in our economy and in our financial products. The, I'll, I'll tell you that the advice given in the past, if given today, would be considered bad advice. It's a different Different set of circumstances, different set of rules. Call in here. Get the book from me for free. Our number here, 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. If I trade it in, oh, if I could.